Awesome. Now we're ready to make some tool paths. So I'm just going to do a quick face and then some roughing. So we'll face off. We'll use our T-Max and set our tool angle. 45. Don't judge my spelling. We'll just take this straight to size. There's only 50,000 stock on the front. All right. Now I'm just going to do a kind of semi or a coarse rough. We'll go ahead and look at doing the outside. I'm going to leave this other end for later. So we'll use the same tool. Um, now we could set our depth of cut and minimum cut depth, stock to leave. We could always put our favorite numbers in here, our lead in, lead outs. So maybe I want to extend, I don't know, 10,000, whatever you guys like to do. Now, in the past, we've always had to do this uh, from start over and over, but now we have the ability to save these. So if you want to get these set, you can go up and say save, and it's gonna ask you where you wanna save them to. So we have that finally in the lathe portion. Now, there's another option as well. I can hit a drop down list and I saved an iteration that I want to use for roughing for this certain tool. We can have as many different copies as you want. You have the option to save a, a custom parameter. So I'll do my T max roughing, which will have my depth of cut, how much stock I want to leave. And if I look at my lead in, lead out, it went with how much lead out I like to have. Sorry, my extension on the lead out, how much I like to have. So a lot of settings get saved. Uh, we'll triple check my tool angle. Make sure that we have our plane set and give it a comment because I want to know what I'm doing. So now we got it all roughed out. 